Hello friends, thank you for being here. My name is Elise and on this channel we support cruelty-free makeup and other teams. So today's video is going to be my May favorites. I have some body care, some skin care, and some makeup. So if you want to know what I've been loving over the month of May, then let's go. Starting off with my body care favorites, I have found a dynamic duo, a perfect duo if you want your skin to feel like a baby's bottom, like so smooth, so exfoliated and soft. And I'm talking about these two products right here. Starting off with the Kapari Body Bumps Be Gone. This has 10% AHA in it. So this is a body scrub and the grit in here is super, super fine. This has green tea extract and also hydrating jojoba seed oil. And this stuff is very strong. I recommend, if you're going to try this out, only use it twice a week. I have noticed a significant difference with my ingrown hair, specifically around the bikini line, is where I use this product. I've gotten less ingrown hairs, and if I do, I've only gotten like two over the past month, which is way less than normal. And those ones are just way smaller than other ones that I've had before. So I really feel like this does work. The 10% AHA, that's a chemical exfoliant, and it also helps to brighten up the skin. I haven't really seen much of that. I've only been using it for a month, but I will definitely let you guys know if I do see any brightening effects of this product. But first I go in with this, and then Naturium The Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Wash. This is, the nicest body wash I've ever used, if I'm being honest. It also smells so good. It's kind of hard to place the scent. It kind of smells like shea butter and like almond oil. It's very light, so the scent doesn't linger. And this one does have a scent, but kind of just smells like sand. So that is the texture of the body wash it's super slick and super oily i feel like i honestly don't really need to go in with like a body oil or a body butter after i use this i still do most days but honestly if i'm really lazy this is all i need and it doesn't leave you feeling oily or greasy afterwards but i've only had to use like just the tiniest like quarter size amount that literally covers half my body so Great value for your money. This has upcycled apple extract, plant-derived squalene, jojoba, rosehip, and sea buckthorn oil. It's not a super like foamy, foamy lather like a Dove body wash, but it does foam up and it does lather. You don't need a lot. Try these out together if you want to look super smooth and glowy for the summer. I have three skincare favorites, starting off with a spray that I cannot stop using. This is probably my third one of this specific spray. This is the Pixi Hydrating Milky Face Mist. Honestly, I love all of Pixi's face mist. They have like two or three more. The glowy one, which looks like really oily, is my second favorite. And then the rose one, which is in the red. But this is my absolute number one favorite. It's super fine. Like the mister on these Pixi Facial mists are the best, like, ever. Like, hands down. Look how... Do you see just how, like, fine and floaty and just, like, light and airy that was? I have been just throwing this on all the time. It just feels so good. I also really like the scent. I can't really explain what it is. Water and glycerin are the first two ingredients, so this is truly hydrating this is not a makeup setting mist so don't expect any kind of prolonging effects for your makeup with this product but if, if you have dry skin if you just want a really refreshing kind of reset in the morning or like throughout the day you would love this i actually got this off of the flip app i'm realizing now i actually got all of my skincare favorites from the flip app so definitely check it out Next one is from the brand Good Light. I have been really wanting to get into Good Light. Like everything about their brand, what they stand for, and their products just really intrigues me. This is the We Come In Peace Microbiome Serum. It says, our unique microbiome enhancing serum is turbocharged with soothing ingredients to create the healthiest environment for your skin barrier. 
I have actually noticed a difference in my skin barrier since I've started using this. I work in a warehouse, so the pollution is really bad. Like the air quality is really not good, unfortunately. And before I was on like doxycycline antibiotics and everything, it really, really affected my skin. My skin was not happy to say the least. And you know, I'm off of my antibiotics that cleared like all of my hormonal acne, but I do still randomly get just like tiny little bumps. And I do still struggle with post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation or PIH. When I tell you, I have not gotten a single whitehead, a single pimple. I'm noticing that, you know, after my work week, my skin before would be really affected. It would be really red, it had to have a breakout, it would be really dry. Since I've been putting this on in the morning before going into work, it's it's just changed the whole game for me. I'm noticing that my skin is able to retain its healthiness, to retain its glow, to retain like the clearness that I have going on that week. I really feel like it's because of this. So if you struggle with acne, if you struggle with hyperpigmentation, if you have sensitive skin, if certain like air qualities really affect you like it does with my skin, this is gonna help you out a ton. Get this on the Flip app and get it for a discounted price. And my last skincare fave is also from Naturium. This is their Azaleic Acid Topical. 10%. And it also has vitamin C and niacinamide. We love niacinamide. My biggest, biggest concern right now is my post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So when I'm not wearing makeup, you'll be able to see I have like a bunch of little red dots because after all my hormonal acne went away, as a defense mechanism, my body puts up hyperpigmentation, kind of like if you hurt your ankle and your ankle gets inflamed, it's the same kind of response, but on my skin. And it claims to reduce congestion, redness, dullness, and discoloration. The number one change I've seen since using this has been my redness. So what usually happens, I wake up in the morning, I'll splash some water on my face, use my face towel to get all of the leftover like night cream and everything off my face. And whenever I touch my face in the morning, it just immediately goes red. Like I said, I have acne prone skin and my skin is sensitive and dry. So as you can imagine, it can just be very easily irritated, but this really has taken my redness down like 50%. It's incredible. I feel so much more confident in my skin and I'm noticing my skin isn't as sensitive and not so quick to get red just from touching it or being out in the sun, stuff like that. And I am noticing it does help with congestion. I get most congestion like right here. I just have less bumps. I have less texture in that area ever since I started using this, so. And let's end the video with some makeup products that I have been loving, starting off with Huda Beauty, the Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom Powder. They have a ton of other colors for basically every single skin tone. I love the shade range. We love that inclusivity, but I got the cherry blossom shade. So it is the pink powder. I'm sure you guys have seen on like Instagram, TikTok, stuff like that. And I'm actually wearing it underneath my eyes today. So clearly it is not actually pink. This offers just the slightest bit of brightness. So this is what the component looks like. It has a net. It's kind of like a soft squishy net that the powder comes through. So what the powder looks like, it's so soft. The hype, the claims with this are 100% warranted, completely valid. This is my favorite powder for specifically setting the under eyes. Don't worry, I still love my one size powder. I actually use that to set the rest of my face, but specifically for under eyes, I do prefer this cherry blossom powder more than the one size powder because this one is even thinner, even more silky. It diffuses so beautifully. Like I've never had bad looking under eyes when I've used this product. It does have quite a strong cherry. It's like a very artificial kind of sweet cherry scent, um, but it doesn't linger. Like as soon as I apply it, I don't smell it. But if you open the actual component, you will get that whiff. Just for warning for those of you who have sensitive noses. I also love that it can go in with a damp sponge 
into the powder and then onto my under eyes and it not look cakey. A lot, a lot, a lot of loose setting powders that I've tried before. If I try that method where instead of using a brush, I really want to press in and melt in the powder with a damp sponge, it ends up looking really cakey, really patchy. You can see like the makeup on the skin. With this, this has never happened with me. It's just foolproof. It always works with a brush or a sponge. And no matter how much I put, I just never feel like it's too heavy or cakey. It's just so thin, luxurious, silky. I love, 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 love this powder and I would love to get my hands on another shade, but they are always freaking sold out. I have two concealers that I've been loving this month and also from Huda Beauty, another viral product, the Faux Filter Concealer from Huda Beauty. I use the shade Vanilla Swirl. So this is the shade Vanilla Swirl and this formula is super, super, thin and after you blend it out it feels very powdery you don't necessarily have to set this concealer the first time i put this concealer underneath my eyes it was like magic it was completely undetectable like i could not see where this concealer started or where it ended so this one diffuses beautifully just like the powder and these together your concealer game is going to be flawless. You are going to be locked in. For the oily girls, you are going to love this concealer. Overall, this is super reliable, super thin, super undetectable, does not feel heavy at all. Honestly, you cannot feel this at all, no matter how much you put on. And I do put quite a bit of this on. It is super, super full coverage. Like I said, I have dry skin but this still works for me, it's awesome. Next concealer is basically the opposite of the last one. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Glow Concealer and I have the shade Medium to Tan. It does come with a little sponge. I have I don't like this. I got a different shade and tried out the sponge and I, I hated it, so the sponge is basically useless. It's not going to do anything for you. So this is that medium to tan shade. And this one is super luminescent. It has a lot of moisture. It kind of reminds me of the Kosas Revealer Concealer, but a little bit more thin and watery in consistency. But this is not watery. It's just a little bit more thinner than that one. So if you tried the Kosas Concealer and liked it, you are going to really, really like this. It does smell like butter bronzer. So if you don't like that scent, then you're not going to like this. It does linger a little bit when you apply it to the face, but after it sets, like after a little bit, after you finish your makeup, you're not going to smell the scent. But just a forewarning, this one I love because it's so glowy and makes your under eyes look juicy. <laughs> I love wearing this for like my no makeup makeup days because it's very good for my skin tone. I can basically put it all over my face and use my e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter in number four. And that's basically like my foundation for the day. So it's super natural. It is buildable, but I would say after the second layer, you're not gonna get any more coverage. So I would say it's light to medium, definitely buildable. This kind of acts like an eye brightener. So it does have good coverage, but I feel like the effect that comes across most when you look at yourself in the mirror is that it's super brightening and it's super glowy. I don't know about oily skin though. It might break up on you. On me, it doesn't break, but it does crease because like I said, it is so emollient, emollient, creamy, um, but it's not thick at all. Okay, last two products and then we'll get out of here. I also got this off of the Flip app and this is the Dose of Colors Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Nude Mood. I wore this in a recent video, so I'll link that here if you want to see a little bit more of the color, but I'll give you a swatch anyway. This does have like a, like a cake battery, very similar to like the NYX Butter Glosses kind of scent to it, which I do like. Uh, I don't really notice the scent after it's been applied on my lips. So that is the shade Nude Mood. It's just nude, like perfect, just like a little bit different than my actual skin tone with a little bit of pink. I have been obsessed with this color, but the formula is also really, really nice. Now it is not transfer proof. 
This is going to wear off, so it's not completely like schlacked onto your lips all day. It fades very naturally and gradually. I honestly never feel like I need to re reapply this. And they have so many good colors. The formula is super thin, moussey, and lightweight. And the doe foot does have a little bit of a dip to it. You know how sometimes when you're eating and you get that line right here under your chin? Doesn't happen with this, as long as I wear a lip liner. And my last favorite, I'm actually wearing it today as my eyeliner. This is the Tres Luce Eternal Liquid Liner, and I have the black shade called La Noche. And it is a felt tip. You can get this at Ulta. This is Becky G's brand, so you can get almost all of her products at Ulta. Now, I have been a brush tip girly when it comes to eyeliners for years, for years, for years. The only felt tip liner I've ever liked before is the Stila All Day Liquid Matte eyeliner that's also at Ulta but the problem with that one if you've ever swatched it you can even tell just from the swatch that one sinks into all the fine little lines it's like too liquidy so it really bleeds but this one the formula is immaculate and my favorite thing about this though is how easy it is to do my eyeliner and how thin 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 I can get my lines. It's really customizable. You can get a really thick kind of really dark, thick wing, but you can also very lightly make some strokes. Zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see my eyeliner. This is truly matte. So if you've been looking for a felt tip eyeliner that is affordable, that dries super matte, that will give you the thinnest, thinnest wings, you're going to love, love this one. So the only con I've found about this product is that I can't do the inner corner wing with this product because it will just bleed and like disappear extremely quickly. But on other parts of the lid, it does not move. It does not budge. I lied, there's one more favorite and it's this necklace that I'm wearing. If you know, you know what this is a reference to, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. So this is from Dolls Kill. They did a collab with Inuyasha, which is an anime, if you don't know. If you are an Inuyasha fan, you need this. Like, I am obsessed. I've been wearing it for the past two or three days and it's heavy, like it's not cheap feeling. It has weight to it. And it has this type of clasp, like the very old school, like 2000s kind of clasp. So you just put it in and lock it in like that. Just a little nerdy side note. I think this is either 20 or $25. Absolutely worth it in my opinion. It's just, uh, it's the cutest. It's so freaking cool and unique. Those are all of my favorites. Like, comment, subscribe. You already know the drill. I am sending you guys so much love and light. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.